The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. This is Monday, Monday, the 18th of October, and we're looking at, at 11, uh, what am I, 10, 11 o'clock? 10.06 in the morning eastern time and what we're looking at is that the dow this this is really quite remarkable uh just let me just uh, what is today the 18th so it would be let's go a week from today a week from today that would be one two three four five six seven eight nine let's go nine sessions ago the dow was down to 33,800s it's trading right now 35,208 in a cup formation, breaking above the Chapman wave inside track repellents. And these are all techniques I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be showing in great detail. Uh, let me just show you this here tomorrow, tomorrow at four o'clock, in fact. Um, I'll show, I'm, I'm going to be going through some of these patterns. I'm going to be talking about, well, first of all, it's a subscriber only webinar. You can become a subscriber. You can actually become a subscriber. You've got 30 days. If you don't like it, you get your money back. And within that time, you'll get my newsletter every single day. You'll get my um, my webinars. You can go to all, all of those webinars, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and whatever number you want to look at. And you can study them. And then you can just wrap it up and say, OK, thank you very much. I'm on my way. Or you can stay because we have had some really nice positions. We still have some good positions. and um, it's going to be October the 19th, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, at 5 o'clock. Uh, I put 5, it should have been 4. Whoops, that's a mistake. Uh, I knew I like to do this live because that way I can always make changes. should be 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Uh, the, all the official things at 4 o'clock. This is just my own mistake here. Uh, 0, 0, 2, 5, uh, 30. So it's tomorrow, 4 o'clock to 5.30 Eastern Time, an hour and a half. And this webinar is for subscribers to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, and will be archived for replay as many times as you want. What to prepare for into year's end and what sectors to focus on. And because it, is be, it has been such an important period over the last, I'd have to say with the, the last uh, six weeks, it's probably more because we're looking at a consolidation, depends whether you're looking at the Dow with its August 16th high or whether you're looking at the September uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth highs in the other indices. It doesn't matter. What we're looking at here is there's been a sector rotation. And then what that rotation is saying that in this interim period, you could, could have started positions in areas that started or continued their upward pro projections. And the ones that have been failing continue to be weak. And in this rotation, what I'm going to be talking about is what should work into years. And I have a theory I'll talk about in a moment about what happens in October uh, and how it relates to the end of the year. This is just my own personal look at the markets uh, based on my own empirical data. But uh, everybody looks at data differently. I was talking to an economist on Friday evening, Friday evening. And it's really funny because I, I, he came up with all these statements and I said, but that's absolutely correct, except there are always moving parts. So as an economist, you're trying to project from history, but history itself is always looking at something else that is an, it suddenly becomes a really important factor. Therefore, no matter how well you do in your, in your ideas and your relationships, it is speculation. That's what we're doing right here. We're trying to speculate with all the, the data that we have had experience with. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be talking about how to prepare for the year's end. We've already saw a position. In fact, we've got a position today, a brand new position. We just missed another one that I'd be wanting. We didn't get it. It's OK. We'll get it at some point. But we got something today. And because of that, um, uh, we're, we're in place for at least participating this week in what could be just further testing of upside 
selectively upside action. So, um, and I'll be looking at different stocks, different stock sectors, going through a bunch of patterns that we're looking at. Uh, I would love to be able to start something that we can call a buy and hold position. We've had some from the low of last year, March the 23rd or the 24th. Um, we've got positions we're still holding. We've got positions that we've held uh, through fantastic gains. And therefore, we've got such a big cushion. We can just treat the leftover that we've, we were holding as buy and holds. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that now, but I'm going to attempt. There are some sectors that are getting ready for their move, I can tell. I don't know if it will be sustained or not. So it's going to be a really exciting webinar. And not only that, the webinar starts as soon as I announce it because that we already get positions based on the webinar's uh, perspective. All right? So that's tomorrow. I'd love to see you there. And as I say, money back guarantee. Uh, what, what better could you do than that? So now what we're looking at, the Dow's down 92. The weekly chart has really improved. It's almost got that pattern that I call the lopsided gravy cup. It's Chapman falling axe where it takes a lower highs and much lower lows. Eventually, it finds a base. Uh, maybe I'll just show you right here. Hmm, no, I'm not in position to do this. Yes, I am. There it is. Okay. So what does that mean? It just means... What does that mean? It just means that you got to click on the right button. There it is. And what we're looking at is... This is a pattern where prices come down, they start to make lower highs and lower lows, and then they form a base. And then as the price goes back and retests the declining trend line, it can break to the upside. Well, wait a minute. Didn't we just see the falling X formation right here? Yep, there it is in the daily chart. It broke out above, and now it's having a test of the upside movement. So there's this cup for made, lopsided cup formation. But wait a minute. In the weekly chart, it's even more profound. Why? Because of those two wonderful candles from last week and the week before that suggest that there's an attempt at least to try to get back to the all-time high of 35,631. And why is it doing that? Because there's this trend line. Now, I can make it very fancy and a little difficult to see, but that basically is your downtrend line with your Chapman Wave inside track, the little mini channel. Break above it, and that's important. And close above it's even more important. And we've done that for one day. Let's see if we can do that two days in the daily. We've done it for one week. Let's see if we can do it for two weeks in the weekly. And the MAGD is still very weak. The stochastic is very, I wouldn't say very weak, it's weak. At 61%, on balance volumes is okay. But look, the nine period moving average never went under the 14 period. I'm going to be talking about that in the webinar. Just easy, easy tools that you can use. Are we out of the woods? No, we're not out of the woods yet because we can double top and then come storming to the downside. So there's a lot going on. We'll talk about that uh, uh, tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Let's go to the S&P. The S&P is up from the low this morning. Uh, it is still down $1.36, but it's off the, the 44 71 low. Uh, sorry, 44 47 low. It's at 44 70 right now. Nice action. We've got that. Another technique I'll discuss as we're moving along. One to one to the upside. Key support now is at 44.50. And you've got your QQQ index 100. Moving very nicely today. It's up 66 cents at 369.60. It's up actually. Up at 0.18 percent. Above the sidetrack. I'll be back in a moment. Get back. I'll have this updated even more specifically. We'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back, and we're looking at the Dow down 136. S&P's down minus five, a lot better than it was earlier on. A uh, couple of things I wanted to do is I wanted to just, just uh, finish this up here. I wanted to show you that the QQQ is lagging after a spectacular move. It's taking its time, and that's what I think you need to assess here. That's what I'll be talking about when I do Tom's show this afternoon at three. That's what I'll be talking about in great detail when I do my webinar tomorrow at four. How can we relate this rotational sector um, sporadic moves to the upside that really take the place of other sectors that are taking a digestive phase after a really big move. And, and that's what it really is. Look at the market right now as this churning oh, toil, toil, bubble, what, 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 toil, 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 bubble in trouble, bubble in trouble, whatever it is. I, I should remember it. Yeah, anyway, uh, Shakespeare left to step aside for a moment. What we're looking at here is uh, within the context of the overall market, and that's really what we've got, we've got to have to assess here. We've taken time and not that much price in some of the sectors, and in some stocks, we've had monster moves to the downside, even they were absolutely, I mean, just take a docu, for instance, a docu, uh, docu, docu, a docu sign went from the, the 290s down to the 190s. You know, that, that's a big percentage move. And even the most latest one, which is from the three right there, from the, th I didn't put the price in, I've got a note that is PD, from the 314 area, Back on the 3rd of September, when some of the other indices topped out, down to the 240s, about 241, I think it was. Yep, 241 um, right here on the 4th, a month later. That's a pretty big percentage move. And uh, it's still only in leg C, peak C, if it doesn't make a new high. Yep, uh, in the monthly chart. So we've got to put it into perspective. And that's really the most important thing. That's what I'm going to try to do tomorrow. Now, let's just go on because we want to look. Oh, yeah, Myrna, look at this. Myrna mentioned in the den. Myrna uh, comes from uh, an all-time high. <clears throat> well, first of all, as a spectacular move, going from, you know, some of us were looking at in the 20s and 40s. Well, it just happened to have a little bit of a run up into the, uh, the 443 area. And then it turns around around about the 10th of August. And look at this. It comes down 
to 200, the most recent low was 293. I, you know, I would say that from 497, oh, that was the high, 497 down to 293, you know, that's, that's a really big move to the downside. And did the dreaded H, one to one to the downside almost. So, yeah, we've got to put this into perspective. Let's go on. We want to look at the IWM. The IWM is a Russell 2000. As I said, popped out of that Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Went uh, intraday, looked like a propellant zone until it closed down on Friday at the low of the day. Today it had a slide underneath and now it's trying to rally just down 17. Now let's go to gold. Uh, gold is <clears throat> holding steady up one. At 1769. I just think it's it's outlined. You remember the one-to-one -one pattern that we're looking at here? It went just above it, it's come back again into the oval pattern. So it's it's in play as a very near-term rally phase, fade phase. You can just treat it as a shorter term instrument. Look at silver. Now the pattern in silver is a little bit actually more positive. So funny how they rotate through different positives and negatives. And then still trade in a range, and silver's just down 11 cents at 23.23. Lovely action. Um, you could call it a head and shoulder. You could call it anything you want. It is how does silver, the SI, this is the contract itself, how does it treat 22.50 as support? How does it treat 20? Did I say 20? 22. I hope I said 22.40 as support. And how does it treat? 2410 as a breakout on the upside. And make it as simple as possible. Right now, it's making high highs. But believe it or not, not the weekly. The weekly is still weak. And just treated like at, like that. So it's a different chart pattern to gold, but it's kind of doing the same thing. And if you look at high grade copper, high grade copper is trading right now. Uh, it was up earlier. Now it's down a penny at 47. Uh, uh, 4.72. At this point, I am treating this as a potential peak D slash B. In other words, D says, you got to be a little bit careful. B says, hey, you want to buy every dip? And I, there's not, we do not have it. Unfortunately, I did want to buy one of the copper, the copper stocks. I did not do that for subscribers. And now we're just watching it. It's a pity because it's had a beautiful, this cup move. It's one of the things I'm going to be talking about, the patterns. Look at this pattern, the cup, cup formation going back to the left side high oh man i have to tell you this is this is a this is a work of art this this copper chart and it is saying actually things out there in the real world are a little bit a little bit better than you would think so with that said i'm going to just say copper's holding if copper trades under four dollars and sixty cents at any point just be careful it could have a consolidation but it's acting really well right now if it has a spike between now and the first week of November into the $5 area, I just have to tell you, it's telling us that the world economies are not as bad as everybody thinks. Even though China, FXI, uh, represented here by the, uh, uh, this is the iShares China large cap ETF, making a new recovery high in leg C in the weekly chart, monthly chart, Sorry, in the daily chart, the weekly chart is very poor, but it is sitting for the first time, bumping up against for the second week in a row. That doesn't happen often uh, in the in the weekly chart at 40.95, up 24 cents. Magdi actually just last week, it was just crossing positive today. It's had a confirmation, but today's not even an hour into the trading day, and we've got a whole week to go. I have to wait for Friday. But this is a better sign, even with all the bad news out there about China. So this is, I must say, this is not bad. Stochastics poor at 27%, but improving. On balance weekly is improving. The daily chart is actually saying, I have to wait for the end of the day. But everything about this chart, except for the on balance volume, is saying the daily FXI, China, large cap ETF, is in a buy mode in the daily chart. <laughs> I wouldn't have said that uh, a couple of days ago. I would have said maybe, but now I have to say, uh, if this holds about 40.90 into the close, preferably hitting 41, that's going to be a really important moment. So that's a good good story. Now I'm going to say to you, 
uh, that within the context of all these things we're looking at, look at the dollar. The dollar is trying to rally here. It's struggling. It's near the upper part of its uh, move. I'm going to call this, and we'll talk about this tomorrow in my webinar. I'm just showing you there's, if I can grab it right there, tool. I'm grabbing that to say, there it is. That's a weak, uh, that's a, a rectangle formation. You know my rule of thumb, a rectangle, a narrow rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. But in a big rectangle formation, you can actually form the cup or the arch formation. Just look at this. There's the proof of the pudding. Look at that beautiful rectangle forming an arch formation and then a breakout to the upside. That's very good. So the dollar selected very well. I'll be back in a moment. We've got a ton of questions. Any question is here, and any is what we're looking at. Sphere 3D4, that's what we're looking at. 815, up to 10 cents. Number of people asking about it Friday and today. I'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So we're back, and I said I was going to do any, which is A and Y. Um, it's trading up 23 cents at 8.23. Oh, it was up 15 cents, wasn't it, just a moment ago. I've liked this. It's been on our list uh, for my subscribers. We've got a little screamer list under the stocks under so they're in the single digits that ha can have a very big percentage move very quickly. I mean, look at this. It's up 3% already. So um, we do not have this at this particular time. I did look at it over the weekend because I on Friday, someone asked about it. Then over the weekend, I got an email. Then I got a question in the den about any, which is called Sphere 3D Core. 
uh, virtualization solutions, etc., through the cloud. I like this as a potential kaya. Now, I look at cup formations and I'm able to gauge them from other areas than you would normally use. It depends. Sometimes they use the top of a candle, previous candle. Sometimes they use the body of the candle. And what this looks like right now is it's trying its best to fold this particular long-legged uh, single uh, push to the upside from the 8s all the way to the high of 11.98. And that was around about September the 3rd-ish or so. Let me check the date. September the 2nd. And then it just comes right down. It's taking its time to build a base in the in the uh, sorry the six six dollar area, six dollars to the five dollars twenty area, and then all of a sudden it moved up and now it's again starting a, a, a stair step move, trying to make, build a consolidation here with today's low of seven sixty one, the seven fifty seven sixty is a support, and where does it go to? So I like it. Only does it move in a percentage, uh, a, a big percentage gain. If you are in the stock, I do not. This is the reason why I've not gone back or at least looked at it for subscribers just yet is because if you get it in the sideways move, you might have to have a percentage, a wider percentage stop than you'd like. But when it moves, you're in the move. You don't want to get the move at the top because it then stalls. And that's what it's done right here. So I like it. And the question I suspect is. Uh, where did I forget? I wrote it down, but I've got it. Anyway, the question is, a couple of people were long. They're long in the uh, sevens. Some people were long in the sixes. And what do we do? And I'm just going to say, hold on, because it's in the right area. Data management, desktop application, virtualization solutions through cloud uh, and on, on a line, uh, on, online premises themselves. All I can say is, it seems to be the right area. We tried to get a stock the other day that also was in the right area. There was just sudden, sudden bad news, and we got taken out. We were, thank goodness for stops. We got our stops hit, and then it went much, much lower. In fact, I think it might have even fall, fallen 50 percent. But we, 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 I, I make tight stops. In this case, I widen the stop a little bit, paid a penalty. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get that back. Uh, on that particular stock at some point later. I don't want to be there. So I'm just saying this is in an area that looks appealing. There are, there's a lot about it that is very favorable, but purely on a chart formation. You would have to see, and now I would, I, instead of going to a daily basis, I'm going to a weekly basis. I would like to see at some point during the week that this stock can get to $9.75 and hold there on a closing basis for two daily sessions, two out of three daily sessions. Looking at it on a weekly basis, obviously you'd be looking at it on a daily basis, but I'm preferably saying on a weekly basis to get into the middle of this, this candle right here. And the middle is actually, this is a work of art. This is not where you become scientific. You can, but I, I try to do it more visually. Yeah, I'm just going to make it a little different. I'm going to say any two out of three days, it closes above nine. There's a really good chance it's going to have a move towards the 1190s very quickly. That's the only way I would look at it. In the meantime, if you want to build your positions because you like it on your own fundamental reason, then I'm saying to you, you can, you can in this area, the 819 right now, between 760, Maybe you could just start positions here. It's still risky percentage-wise because it could, could come down easily to the 7, uh, 26, 80 area to just test some support. But that's kind of what I'd be looking at. More important is that it is building. Look at the nine-period moving average in the weekly. Every time it gets there, it just springs to the upside. And that says to me it's starting to make high highs and higher lows. And that's kind of important. And today it's up 18 cents now. So keep in mind, any is the symbol, A and Y, $8.19, up $0.19 cents right now at a round number close on Friday. <laughs> Going to be watching this closely. I do like it. It's just a little tricky pattern-wise because it's stretching sideways. And then it says I would rather buy it in the, uh, as it really moves sharply higher. But that's always tough to do because if you see it after it's moved higher, it then pulls back quite sharply. So, yes, I like it as a trade. If you're in it, I'm just saying hold it. Would I add to the position? I would add a little pullbacks under eight, 
uh, with a fairly tight stop there. Would I get into it fresh right now? I, I would have a little trouble for, for two reasons. One is if it does pull back under $7.30, I don't really want to touch it just yet. I want to wait a little bit. And yet, at the same time, if it moves into the 853 uh, area or higher, I'm saying, oh, my goodness, it's already started to move. That makes it really tough. So all I can say is it looks good. It's having a stair-step move. Smear 3D core is, is, is the chart. Next question I had was Newmont Mining. Uh, Newmont Mining is trading down 33 cents at 56.70. Uh, is it a cup and handle? Not really. It's actually inverse arch formation. It's trying now to make the cup. But most importantly is today's action is oh, – let me do that. Okay, did that. Lopsided cup formation. I just don't want to see Newmont Mining trading at 56.69, up down 34 cents. Take out 53.80. Is that a 53? No, I'm sorry, 55. Yeah, 55.80 on a very short-term basis. Because if it takes it out, it's just going to need a little more time to build up strength for the weekly chart to finally get to the 57.80, 58.30 area. And uh, so, yes, if you're in it, I think you're in it. Um, it is Basil Mini Cup Handle Newmont Mining on daily. No, this is this is an inverse of a cup and cup and handle. In fact, it's a declining one. This is a little different pattern. I, if I had to take just a moment here, I'd say I would I would consider that if it's able to get to the 57.35 area by Wednesday of this week, then you could see a leg C to the upside going to the 58 area. But this, in the meantime, is a very quick move. If it gives the quick move back up, it's nature. Newmont Mining is when it gives back a quick move to the upside, that can become a deeper pullback. So I'm just saying my, my thing is to have some kind of 5580 as a visual area to say, is that a stop? Is that gonna, if that holds, is that now a new buy? But you want to see right now, if you're in it, you want to see the 5693 to the 50. 7, 10 area by tomorrow without having too much of a dip. I hope that helps you. Next question I had was over the, uh, I didn't see this until late Friday. No, I think it was Thursday. And for some reason, I didn't do it even on Friday. Um, I'm considering a trade in UCO. UCO is the crude oil. And with crude oil possibly heading to 90 or more, crude oil's peak G at 82.18. So let's go to crude oil. This is a continuous contract. So, okay. So I need to talk about this because it's got a chat wave, uh, a reversal alternate count. And because of that, I'm in a leg D right now. So we need to be picking a crude oil. I think it's going to pull back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. I just want to quickly say before we go to Greg uh, uh, in Austin uh, that Sophie, which is uh, Sophie Technologies, is trading nicely up a 5% up 1.02 at 20.39 leg D in the day. There are so many leg Ds in daily charts these days. I'm going to be watching this closely. Tried up against a weekly chap wave inside track resistance acting so well uh, after breaking that particular instant rest uh, that Sorry, that's the... Uh, inside track repellent zone earlier on this is good and just one other thing that i wanted to say is coin is like the um is finally acting very well very strong leg b today it's up 11 20 at uh, 291 i'd mentioned that this is in that area the favorable area that i like bitcoin bitcoin itself is trading gbt uh, btc let me just do this quickly because then i can go freely and discuss things with Greg. Yeah, a peak C or maybe a leg C in the Bitcoin. Yes, double top like uranium is a possibility, but until it gets there, we don't want to talk. You have a preconception, you might, oh my God, double top get get short. But that's definitely the case with Bitcoin. And I'll, I'll do that when we get back. We're going to go to Greg in Austin. Greg, how are you? Hey, good morning, thank you, I'm, I'm well. How are you? Good. I'm well. Good, good. So you'd like uh, to look you, at? Yes, I, I'm calling on uh, ur it's a uranium miner, U U U U, and um, I bought some the other day. I'm in at um, 780. So okay, a very room good. In it, but I, I was going to add to it today, and I was thinking it might pull back, and of course it didn't. It opened and went a little lower, and then took off. And so I was looking to add to it. But um, uh, just wanted to get your perspective on that and where, and maybe you could give me a count on the 120 minute. Um, okay. So, so Greg, there Thank are a you. couple of things going on. The fact is that you did put your money to work. You like the analysis that you had given yourself, and you went in, and then, and that's very reasonable to anticipate some kind of a pullback. And what I would say to you is this. Uh, first of all, I, I, in the 120-minute in chart, I'm going to be a little bit aggressive now and call this a leg B, a brand new buy yeah. signal going to buy mode yeah. leg B. Let's just get that out the way. Number two is yeah. there's the cup formation in the den. Uh, someone mentioned, I, I'm just trying to see who it was, who uh, spoke about... Uh, uh, Bungalow, Maui, who says, Basil, uh, please look at double top on couple of futures is in Tiger, Tiger YouTube. So the patterns are the same because you make a cup formation, you're going back towards the top. But this has a Chapman wave inside. Now, this, is, this is really important. I have a technique that I call the Chapman wave cup and ladle. I always call these Chapman waves because these are techniques that I developed over the years. I haven't seen them actually. Right, I get stocks and commodities magazine for I don't know how many, 30 years or whatever it is, um, a monthly magazine. I've hardly seen any of these things ever discussed. 
So this is the cup and this is the cup and ladle pattern, where it goes sharply to a high, makes a cup formation in the daily, and then has a peak A and a peak B in the left side, and then it has a little miniature A B which fails, and then another A B. So this is, a, it's called a Chapman wave overlapping wave, which I normally would type in. I'm not going to do that now. I'll do it maybe a little later in the day, and I usually type in. Chapman wave overlapping wave, which invariably goes to leg D and then pulls back. It's only in leg C. I'm going to recommend that your your add to position, if you're prepared to take, because it is early in the day and it's already had a big move. It's a move of eight percent. It's up 64 right. cents at 8.44. I'm going to say, why don't you add to the position but split it in two? You go right in now at 8.46. And then I'd go at 8.32, and I would have like an 8.20 stop on both those positions. Just you have it as an intraday. If this thing closes okay. either at 8.45 or higher, it makes a new recovery high. You've added to this position in a cautious way because you might have got only one part of your split new position, and it moves. But if you get both, then what happens is you're in for the ride to a peak C, it could still pull back, but then it should go to at right. least a D. I like that. That's the daily chart, and it's an overlapping wave. And the, the rule is that it invariably, before it retests the left, left side lip, it actually tries to get to a strong C and then a D. So that's good. And the weekly chart, I've got as a, as a leg C. There's no other way I can count it. And the monthly chart, I've got as Energy Fuels Inc., Uranium, U, 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 U. Uh, one that I've had on our list for quite some time. We didn't do anything yet, not this time, but it's up 67 cents at 8.47. I like it. I like the uh, 120 minutes. I'm just for the moment going to put it onto the 10 minute, uh, 10 minute chart just to see if I'm correct in my analysis. Yes, it's making this kind of cup formation. It's going to do a rectangle, a sideways move, 8.45. I don't feel uncomfortable with what I just mentioned to you, okay. um, and, and, but it does mean you've got a little bit of a percentage risk here because it's up already um, eight point uh, four percent. But I like, I, in other words, both of us seem to see look at it as going higher, and that's the way I'd look at it as a trade because you got in very nicely. Yeah, thank you. Well, I appreciate your analysis, and um, we'll just see what happens. Right. Okay, Greg. Thank you so much for calling, and uh, <laughs> good you. luck. I'm writing it good down day. here, you, 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 so I can look at it again later today and tomorrow. So for, the next question I had was coin. I did coin, right? Yep. Uh, coin, coin, coin. We did that, did that, did that. Um, now let's look at the left side. What did I get here? Next year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, yep, yep. I like that, I like that, I like that. Uh, there was a chart that I, I was asked to look at. Yeah, Boeing. Okay. So Boeing, just right now, uh, we'll have a look at Boeing. Now, Boeing made a peak D. Remember, the fourth highest peak, peak D, is where we always expect that that's where other things can happen. Look on the left side chart. Wow, look at this. A weekly peak D, and it plummets from the 270s down to the two uh, in 205s, or under 200. 446.01 in the monthly and it's gone from 446.01 at peak D down to 89 round number low in March of last year at a good rally percentage wise. And now it's a 215 under monthly nine period and 14 period moving averages, holding trend line support, really important trend line support. And the weekly chart looks like it <laughs> might not hold it for long. And the daily chart's down $1.45. And it's another, a small, remember, I do not like to see. A peak D underneath the previous high because that just says you didn't even have enough strength to get to that previous high and you're ready at a peak D where you could have a pullback. Well, it has pulled back from 232 to today's low of 214. So, as I look at this, I'm just saying to tell you the truth, there are uh, you just want to look at, yeah, just want to look at Boeing, keep looking at Boeing. Don't do it. You can travel in Boeing. You can do anything you want. Don't buy Boeing just yet. I think there's a lot more to go. Um, I just It makes me real nervous that it's had all this time and they still constantly find fault. You're going to say, what on earth was wrong with it if after all this time and all the correcting, 
they're still finding problems with the uh, with the engine. I don't know. There's some with the plane itself. So it's a problem. I just hold off for now. I'll be back. Dow's down 67. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, we're back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. Don't forget tomorrow. Let me just show you this before I forget all about it. I just um, tend to do that. There we are. Tomorrow at four o'clock, I'll be doing. A, yeah, four o'clock, I'll be doing a subscriber webinar. It's really a, such an, a fantastic phase right now because some things are really working. You can see the people that have. Uh, we've got the Den. We've got the Tiger uh, YouTube. We've got emails coming in. And almost all of them have been really perceptive and they're all looking at things that are starting to move to the upside, most of them anyway. And there are, there are things to buy out there, stocks and sectors to buy. There are stocks and sectors to avoid as well. So I'll be talking about what to prepare for into year's end and what sectors to focus on. It's a subscriber webinar, a money back guarantee. So check out the front page of TFNN. You can sign up for it. It'll be tomorrow just, just timing wise. Uh, really nice. Um, uh, uh, in the den, someone's talking about Ulta, uh, Ulta, Ulta Beauty. You know, all these stores are certainly around here in the Boston Newton area, Brookline, uh, Wellesley, all over. <coughs> Any of those multi stores that have been closing down, shutting down over the last, through the epidemic, so many nail salons are opening up. So I think, yeah, this whole area of beauty. Uh, Ultra Beauty Inc. Cosmetics trading at 230 up 239 to 408. Look, there's your cup formation. 
There's your uh, reverse inside wedge uh, breakout. There's the uh, cup. The cup is right here within the rectangle. And I'm going to be talking about rectangles, large rectangles and small rectangles. How? What do you expect? Does it make the gravy train uh, look with with a sharp move, long sideways move, and then boom, straight up? That's what it's doing. It's acting very well. So uh, stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesaventa coming up. It should be a wonderful show as always. Larry, then think we'll swamp. Then you've got Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and I'll be the fortunate to be the guest host for the Tom O'Brien Show at 3 o'clock. See you later today. And of course, check out my book, the subscriber webinar. Tuesday, 4 o'clock. Timely, timely, 